Hello, my little pretties. What's up? It's your mistress of Shadow Linus here. And today we are going to review another episode of Teen Titans. Now, this is a second episode of season two or or episode 15 of the show, depending on however you guys like to call it. And today we are going to be doing another um, review. And today this episode we're reviewing is Every Dog Has His Day. Now, this episode is pretty good, just like the last is a another great episode to start off. However, the last episode we review was how long is how long is forever? And to be honest, I really think that one was a really sad episode episode, but good at the same time. Last episode we reviewed. Well, this episode's a more of a happy episode, so. We're not going to be crying over this episode, obviously. Now, basically, this episode is about focusing on Beast Boy. Basically, Beast Boy is feeling, you know, unwanted by the Teen Titans. Like, every time he tries to go talk to, you know, Teen Titans, they would just tell him off or tell him that they are busy and they can't hang out with him. So, basically, Beast Boy goes into town and sees girls and he wants to impress them by shapeshifting into a dog. But they, he ended up being shooed away by the by the girls. So apparently, Beast Boy, as a dog, gets uh, taken by another dog owner, which his name is Soto. So Soto basically lost loses his dog, and he confuses and thought Beast Boy was his actual dog, and takes Beast Boy. However, Beast Boy tries to tell him that he's not his dog, and that he was shapeshifted into a dog, and of course course and his other dog was lost somewhere Soto would not let Beast Boy go no matter how hard Beast Boy tried to confess it still wouldn't work so basically Robin Starfire Cyborg and Raven ended up having to go and go to find Beast Boy however they ran into this dog and they first at first they thought it was Beast Boy but they found out beat this dog would not change back into Beast Boy and the dog finally talks to them as soon as Cyborg and everyone else were able to get the dog to stay and not ran off when they want answers. And basically this dog says that he was having so much fun, he was getting lost, and he couldn't find his owner Soto. So the Teen Titans brings this dog, Soto's real dog, back well, to see where Soto is in his ship. And basically... Soto realizes that that's his dog and Beast Boy was a mistake. So that so basically Beast Boy gets back with the Teen Titans and that's how the episode pretty much ends. Now, what did I think about this episode, you guys are asking? Well, Nat, we're getting to the review. Now that you've actually heard me explain, you know, about this, let's talk about the episode. Now... First of all, I like the concept of itself to be rather interesting. I actually found this episode to be pretty good. The storyline of how the episode went out was quite interesting. But at the same time, it was kind of, you know, a little out of place a little bit. Like, the storyline was a little out of place. Like, how would the Titans know Beast Boy was gone? Well, we already do know, but... How would they not know that that dog... Or Soto's dog was not Beast Boy. Like if it, they think it is Beast Boy, maybe they could. And you know, it doesn't look like Beast Boy. He doesn't turn into animals. You know, how are the Titans that stupid to find that out? You know, that's the main question. That's mainly the question I have in the episode. But no negatives of this episode, which is good, because I hate giving negatives unless it's absolutely necessary. But I actually do adore this episode now. Basically, I enjoyed this episode. I thought the concept of itself to be rather interesting and rather nice. And I really do think that this episode should really be, you know, um, be pretty well done. Like, this episode was really well done. Now, now with that being said, people, I do apologize if this review is pretty short. Like my, well, my last one was a little longer than I expected, but yeah. Anyways, the animation is good, like usual. Um, the character developments were really good, like I'm saying now. Everything about this episode was really good. 
Now, if I have to, now, for one thing I could definitely say is that this episode was not as sad as, uh, is not very sad like the last episode I reviewed. Even though that one was good, but it was still sad. But anyways, this episode was pretty good. It had a lot more happier tone to it than the last episode. Although the last episode was still good that we reviewed last time. Now, with that being said, people, this is simply my own personal opinion. And if you disagree with me, that's fine too. Uh, if you like this show, I respect your opinion. If you don't like this show, please respect my opinion. Because I will respect everyone's opinions on things. My final rate of this episode would have to be a 10 out of 10. It's a pretty good concept. It's a really good uh, storyline. I like the animation and the character voices and everything. And everything about this episode was just really good. So that's basically what I could give for this episode. But anyways, what did you think about this episode? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what would you have done personally to help make this episode a lot better? Leave me now what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. On the channel line, thank you so much for watching today's episode. And like always, I'll be out, over and out, and peace out, and see you all later.